He no is, drop uh, ship to help you this time, Captain. He is getting scared. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> It's like he's getting sketched out, Zap. Stop! Leave me alone! Was he just having a drink? No. There's obviously got to be something over here that this thing's protecting. I'm gonna find out what that is. Found it. Private party. in the Sensen. I was gonna say, they don't just have the one Scaramec thing in here, do they? Sensen 6, response to the memo criminals. Faced with the legitimate concerns arising from the risk of memorial intrusion, Memorize has continued to improve its products and networks. The new Sensen 6 represents yet another attempt by Memorize to combat memo crimes. The notion of memorial theft was inconceivable in the humanist vision of jo Charles Cartier Wells. For this reason, and perhaps due to its hasty implementation, the first version of the Sensen post-2064 lacked a security system capable of withstanding any organized malicious attacks. The exponential implementation of the Sensen in all areas of civil society, private, intimate, friendly, relational, professional, public, media, commercial, gave rise to a new type of crime. The memory hunters, that's us, both anonymous and famous, now form part of this late century urban landscape. We can blame Memorize for failing to anticipate this phenomenon when the Sensen was first released. But since the company has worked overtime to remedy the situation. Oh, okay. But since the company has worked overtime to remedy it. As it developed its range, they implemented a security system to make memory saving and memorial transfers 100% hacker proof. And Memorize became locked in a race against the memo criminals where technological advances would be the obvious key to success. With the Sensen 6 scheduled to be released in late 2083, uh, which was eventually delayed, Memorize is poised to triumph over the Memory Hunters and any other smart hackers. Security experts say the Sensen 6 contains the same fabulous technological inventiveness that fueled the success of the Cartier Wells company, a clear response to attempts at memorial intrusion. So he invented these new Sensens basically as a response to uh, the Memory Hunters. Captain? Stop her! Oh, yeah. Cardboard circuits. Whoa, we got... Oh, this is gonna be in top. Okay, I need to take control of one of these robots, I think. Oh! Get me out of the corner. Nobody puts Nillin in the corner. Okay. Hello. Oh. That's bad. <laughs> you can just feel it. You know it's coming. You can't get all the way. I'm going to take care of one of these guys. Oh, I thought 
it was out. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I thought we got rid of these. Oh, there's more. I gotcha. Let's see what's up. Well, say goodbye to this guy. You want me alive? That ain't gonna happen. Oh, sick! Oh, that was gnarly. have we unlocked here still the why we don't have but that's okay let's actually unlock this one here and maybe what I'll do is I'll throw this one in here to amplify my my regen abilities or maybe I should throw it down here Yep. There we go. Major damage going on there now. And I'm still retaining the other quality, so I'll try to use that one as much as I can. Most of the enemies can withstand it now. This is the voice of Charles Cardinal Wells. If you are listening to this recording, I hear you this has been compromised. Have faith and remain calm. Together we can defeat and resolve any problem. Remember you soon. Long live that long. Whoa! <laughs> I'd say so. become one of them. I'm still gonna search his mind. You never know. I'm gonna have to get down there. I think taking his mind now is probably a terrible idea. Just.
Did you get the codes? Just scraps and emotions. But I have a fragment of another riddle. Another mnemonic, perhaps. His memory has become melded with those leapers. What are you saying? I'm saying you're going to have to sift through those two mutants' minds for oh, the geez. missing parts of that riddle. It's our last chance to gain access to the conception cube. Well, let's find them. Oh, they've given me the slip. Oh, hello. Found them. I can be of help. Oh, you're toast. Sneak attack. I like it. Oh, I don't like fighting two of them, though. Wow. Alright, how can I handle this? Can I camel one of them, I wonder? Let's disable. And then... Alright, I need to get- I need to get these things cleared out a little bit. Look how many there are. Oh god! Let's clear out the room a bit. I imagine they'll keep coming. Yeah. So maybe not clear them out completely is a better idea. Oh god, that's dealing so much damage. And I can use these guys basically to cool off my the cooldown and just keep going back to the DOS. Oh, I missed it. Terminate. Shit. <laughs> oh, that is a nice. That is nice. No, oh, the wrong one. Damn, I'll take one of them. I can't even. Where is he? Ah. Take him down this time. They're susceptible to the exact same moves, it seems. Which works for me. All 
right, now I'm just gonna get rid of these things. Okay, I can piece Trace's mnemonic back together. Great going, sis. Now pass through the main security gate and enter the conception cube. So we're gonna need to power something, obviously. I wonder what this riddle's gonna be. The last one was pretty simplistic, I'd say. Okay, by the fire exit. So there's probably something hidden back here. Oh, or maybe on this side. Yes, there it is. Neil Paris VIPs. Who's this going to be about? Charles Carche Wells, a true scientific genius, the heir to the Carche Wells dynasty is tireless in his efforts to create a better future for humanity. The inventor of the Sensen, Charles now lives in the heart of the Monopolis Towers. His first community project based on the permanent sharing of recollections and memory. The son of Anton Cartier Wells, who found a memorized in 2012, Charles quite naturally continued his family's research into the control of neural interfaces that had made the company's fortune. A brilliant scientist, young Charles soon moved away from the financial management of his empire to concentrate on pure research. In spring 2064, he completed his father's work on digitizing the human memory, thus triggering the age of the Sensen. Charles Cartier Wells was strongly criticized for handing over control of the family business to his wife to focus on modifications to and specific applications for the Sensen. He, graduate, or he gradually retired from public life to devote himself to his work on sharing the human memory. The first experiments in his in vivo concept began in 2074 as a space for community life based on the permanent sharing of his residents' memories. The Nemopolis project had a threefold objective, architectural, technological, and social experimentation. Tucked away in the center of, the, of this device in an enclosed space called the Conception Cube, uh-oh, Charles Cartier Wells continues to imagine an evolved humanity free of its old fears and ready to face the overwhelming challenges ahead. So he's in the Conception Cube where Edge has been leading us, like, non-stop. Um, I mean, this could go, this could, this could be bad. <laughs> I think that that Nisus is probably easily missed because most people I assume would think oh no <laughs> would assume that this is the fire exit that the thing was referring to just because well you you see it as soon as you come through that door so it kind of keeps the surprise that he's gonna be in this little cube area oh maybe not Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. It looks like this was the exit that they were referring to. You focus. Remember, you're on our checklist, Christ. Uh oh. That looks like it's gonna be bad times if I follow that path. I hear something. I think I hear one of those Scaramac things. Bye. 
Why does it hurt to see this crackpot in such bad shape? Yo, Paris landmarks. What is this leading us to? Merfarik. Encircling the entire city, the Merfarik is the most imposing public work in Neo Paris. And sadly, the only one that refugees and illegal immigrants swarming to the city from the sea and other countries will ever see. The construction of the Merfarik was the largest public undertaking in the Phoenix Reconstruction Project, as conceived by the architect Harry Sheridan. Its proportions reflect the image of a city born again, immense. The Merfarik is a massive hexagonal embankment around the city of Neo Paris, 70 meters high and 50 meters wide, bordered by two slightly convex, reinforced concrete walls that serve to retain huge volumes of water. It is built on the foundations of ancient fortifications that demarcated and protected Paris in the 19th century. Entrance into the oh, entrance into the structure is via three gigantic locks that control the inbound and outbound traffic of goods and humans. The Merifaric was originally designed to protect the city from flooding, rainwater, and the devastating effects of, of storms, which had become a, near, a yearly occurrence since the late 2030s. It was also designed to manage the water levels inside Neo Paris itself, forming a containment reservoir for the water courses and rainwater draining out of the city. After it was built, the Merifaric proved extremely effective at controlling and limiting these flows of water, with the increased influx of climate refugees, illegal immigrants, and desperate souls attracted to the bright lights and the riches of the new Neo Paris, controlling people would soon take pre precedence over controlling the water. Impregnate. Yeah, he is losing it. Risk of sun sensitive breakdown. Rerouting in progress. Toilets. Let's see if we have another door here. We do. Oh! I missed out on one. Damn. Yeah. 